Hi guys, this is Ziggy Boogie Doo. Here's a tutorial on how to first of all rip PC games and then make them into eBoots to play on your PSPs with custom firmware. So first of all, we're going to insert the disc that we have our PC game on. Put that in the disc drive there. Load up Alcohol 120, put a download link in the description. You can just use a free trial for now. Come down to Image Making Wizard. Select oh, your, this, your CD drive and set that to maximum. If that's not on PlayStation, put it on there. Go Next. And this is Crash. 3. We'll just save it to desktop and make sure clone CD, clone CD image file was selected there. Just click start. I'll start recording again when this is done. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and close Alcohol 120. You see these files here? It's going to open up P6 PSP. I'll provide a download link in the description. Double click on that. There's probably going to be a wizard when you install wizard when you when you open it. So, but mine isn't. Just it's pretty simple. Just just keep the default settings. Okay. You can open up convert menu. Go to the desktop. Oh, where have you saved? ISO image, I mean, crash re image there, open, output, just save it to desktop, just leave everything else there. Okay, and customize PvP, there's a couple of things here. For most games, you can just search crash 3 image, crash 3 background, P6 or whatever, and you can just make your own music, just search, I'll put a download link, in, uh, put a video link in the description for how to make the background music, and yeah, I'll put a couple of links up on how to get those, but anyway, if you've got those, you don't really need them, it's just optional, then you just click convert on here. Too long. Come back when it's finished. Now that that's done, just press OK. X. And wait to save. Where the hell? Oh, there it is there. Eboot. Just leave it like that. If you want, you can rename this to Crash. Oh, my bad. Oops. And you can just drag that into your PSP game folder, this folder here. And then follow my next video on how to install Pops Loader, and then you can play it on your PSP. So, yeah, this has been Ziggy Boogie Doo. Another PSP tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.